Welcome to my kitchen. I'm Sensei Vegan. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've been getting a lot of questions about quick recipes that I can make on a vegan diet or plant-based diet because people don't like to spend a lot of time in the kitchen. So what I'm going to put on this menu for y'all today is golden oatmeal. Yeah! I love oatmeal. I can eat it by the bowl full. So that is what's on the menu today. So when we come back, yes, we're gonna get this recipe underway. Welcome back. Now let's get with these ingredients. Walk over this way and enter my kitchen. Okay, here we go. When I say loaded oatmeal, I'm talking loaded. You understand what I'm saying? What I mean by that is you pack this mama jamma with as many ingredients as you can, okay? So here we go. First thing you're gonna need, you're going to need some coconut milk. You can use oat drink, you can use almond milk, any of those types of things, as long as it's not the dairy milk. You understand? Leave the poor cows alone. I have to mention that every once in a while. They're not bothering you, so you should not bother them. Leave the cows alone, okay? Leave the daggone cows alone. Okay, then you're going to need some type of a sweetener, all right? So I'm going to use this agave, and I'm going to use some organic raw sugar as well. Of course, you're going to need some oatmeal, some cinnamon, cinnamon. <laughs> That's what you're going to need. Some cinnamon, okay. And not only that, you're going to need some nutmeg, 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 okay. Some raisins, <laughs> raisins. All right, you need some raisins. Some vanilla flavor, you can use vanilla bean, vanilla beans, vanilla, 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 <laughs> vanilla beans, you can use vanilla powder, but I'm going to use this vanilla flavor. Wow, that was a tongue twister there. Okay, black walnuts. If you can find black walnuts, please pick these things up. This is just going to amp this recipe up to the next level, okay? Some black walnuts. And in this container right now, I have golden raisins, regular raisins, cranberries, and dried cherries. All right? Okay. So, first things first, uh, get this pot, rinse it out real quick. It's clean, but I just want to give it a quick little rinse. And you can measure how you want. I mean, you can use the measurements on the back of this oatmeal. It gives you the recipes and stuff. But I always tell people, I eat a lot of food. And this little bit of oatmeal that they give you for their recipe on the back, it's not even a snack for me. All right? So I'm just going to start dumping stuff in here. But you can mix as much as you want or as little as you want. I'm hungry right now, so I'm going to start dumping. All right? So I'm going off a of fill here. I'm going off a of fill. That looks pretty good. Right there. Remember, use the force move. Use the force when you're cooking, man, sometimes. All right? And one other thing I'm definitely going to add in here. You do not, you do not have to do this. I'm going to add some oatmeal. Oatmeal. God help me, please. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Okay? There we go. That's it. Just so it's not too flat. All right. Now we're going to start, always, as I always say, mixing and matching. And I'm a little bit off right now. I took a little bit of a nap, and I wasn't feeling that great today. But I am here with y'all. It's going to make me feel a whole lot better. And you're going to put some of this coconut milk in here, okay? And then, I'll slide out of frame a touch. You're going to add some water as well. Here we go. Slide this off to the side, put that there, and now we're going to add some of this vanilla flavor. Perfect. 
perfect. This one is finished. And what else do we want to add? Some cinnamon, 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 cinnamon. Okay. Wow, that smells good. We're going to add some of this nut, 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 now we're going to add a touch of this agave. And this stuff is sweet, so be careful adding that in. That's all you need for that. With that, as I'm using these ingredients, I'm going to put them back. Sit back there. Sorry for turning my back. That goes up here. And then we're going to keep the stuff that we haven't used out on the counter. So what we're going to do now, we're going to turn this heat up. Don't put your face down in the flame, please. You know how sometimes the eye doesn't come on and the gas builds up and that thing, whoo, you don't want to lose your eyebrows. It ain't going to kill you, but you lose your eyebrows and some of your hair. Okay? And what we're going to do now, we're going to give this a quick, quick stir. It is that simple. It is that easy. I'm telling you. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm not going to let you guys sit through this whole cooking process. It's not going to take that long anyway. But when we come back, we're going to plate this masterpiece up. This masterpiece of loaded oatmeal. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank all y'all for coming back. Now let's put this masterpiece Together. Here we go. Okay, get the area a little cleaned up. The oatmeal is finished. Look at that. Ah, like a breath of fresh air, I'm telling you. Okay, now we're just going to spoon this in. Actually, you know what? Let me do it this way. I'm going to hold it up over like that so you guys can get a good little peek at that. So, we're just going to spoon this in. Make mine a little bit thicker. I don't want it too runny. I don't want it soupy, soupy. All right? You guys get a good shot of that. Just spoon it in. And I'm going to eat this whole pot. I'm not going to do it all in one shot because my bowl is not big. I need a Jethro Bodine, Jethro Bodine bowl from the Beverly Hillbillies. If anyone knows who that is, everyone knows what I'm talking about. You need to get a bigger bowl. Jethro Bodine. Okay. I'm going to have to flash a uh, picture up there of Jethro. Okay, so that is in there. Now we're going to start putting all this stuff together. Well, another thing I added was a couple bananas. I'm sorry, I didn't say that. You want to get a couple bananas. And we're going to take one of the bananas. I'm going to slide out and we're going to Cut the bananas right on top, just like this. Okay? Just like this. Get these nice bananas, and it doesn't, just toss these things in here. I'm going to actually get one more banana. I'm sorry for sliding out of frame. This is going to be a lot of fun. So you just cut these fresh bananas over top of the oatmeal. And that's why I said this thing is loaded, everybody. Okay? This thing is loaded. Then what we're going to do, we're going to sprinkle this raisin mixture. We have white raisins. I'm sorry, golden raisins. I'm sorry. We have dried cranberries and dried cherries in here, and then some regular raisins, okay? So we're going to give that a quick sprinkle like that, okay? Then, on top of that, I have some regular raisins that we're going to throw on top of here, okay? Some regular raisins. I told you I wasn't joking. When I say loaded, 
you load this thing up. You load it up, man. You don't be playing around. Okay, so we got the bananas. We have the different types of raisons. Now we're going to need some of these black walnuts. Pour some of these in my hand. And just sprinkle. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Another sprinkle. Look at this. Look at that. I'm telling you, it's a meal fit for a king. Okay? Then, to top it off, let me taste one of these black walnuts. I have to. I love the way these things taste. Awesome, man. Woo! Okay? Now, top it off. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of this raw sugar. Sprinkle that bad boy. Sprinkle it. Sprinkle. Look at that. Look at that. See that? Okay, that's done there. Then, what else we have? I want to sprinkle a touch more of the nutmeg and so this for garnish. Just, just for garnish, I'm making a mess here, but. Okay, and a little bit more of this cinnamon on here. Just a little. Telling you, this is a work of art. Now we're gonna slide all this stuff. Look at this. This is loaded oatmeal right here. Hope all y'all can see that. Okay. I'm gonna bring it up to the camera for 3D. Look at this. Woo! Look at that. I'm gonna hold it right there. I'm gonna bring it back, bring it all the way in. Then I'm going to slide it back one more time. Loaded oatmeal. Okay? So, when we come back, <laughs> y'all better call somebody. Because it's taste test time. Taste test time is up next. So please come back. Thank y'all for coming back. And you know what time it is. For all you rookies, noobs, new jacks, newcomers, and all in between. It is taste test time. <laughs> yeah. Taste test time. Uh, taste test time. Roy, uh, taste test time. Uh huh. Taste test time. Taste test time. Uh, let's rock and roll, baby. Let's rock and roll. Okay. Here we go. We got this luxurious plate or bowl of oatmeal. Look at that. Look at that. Smell it. Smell it, I say. The precious. They stole it from us. Anyway, this is what we have. I'm going to stir this stuff up now. I'm going to stir it up. Stir this. Woo! Woo! Yeah! I'm sorry, I got my back turned. I don't care. This stuff. Wow. Whoa, 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 wow, wow. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm stirring this bad boy. Woo. I think I outdid myself today, y'all. Loaded oatmeal. Need a shovel. I need a shovel to mix this up. All right, here we go. It's mixed. Okay, here we go. And here we go. Get a little bit of everything in here if you can. I'm going to have to take a couple scoops of this. Taste this. Dang on, boy. I could you not. I don't be shooting food everywhere. This is delicious. This loaded oatmeal will satisfy anybody, especially if you're an oatmeal lover. You pack as much stuff as you possibly can 
into this thing and you tear it up. Tear it up! Mm. I gotta pick this up again. I, I'm getting, wow. You guys, I'm telling you, please try this. Make some of this. Make this recipe your own. Do your own thing. Do your own thing. Diddly, 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 diddly. A little bit of heavy D for you. Wow. That's all I can say. This stuff tastes really, really good. I want to thank all y'all for joining me. And remember, the best part about this, no animals were hurt making it. I'm Sensei Vegan. Hello. Good night. Remember to subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. But give it something. Leave comments. Again, I want to build a solid channel, but I need all y'all feedback. Again, I'm Sensei Vegan. Hello. Good night.